Hello and welcome to the 340 Club. In this video, we'll be solving this question. The square root of the square root of 25 minus the square root of 24. You can pause the video here and try it yourself. So let's begin. The first thing we'll do is to simplify the square root of 25 as 5. So the square root of 5 minus the square root of 24. And now I can break down the square root of 24 as well to 2 root 6. So the square root of 5 minus the square root 2 times the square root of 6. Right. Now at this point, we are going to use this identity or this expression a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. We are going to make what's under the square root sign look like the expression on the right hand side. So 5 minus 2 root 6. I'm going to make it look like a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, right? So, as you can tell, 5 corresponds with a squared plus b squared, minus 2 remains the same, and ab represents the square root of 6. So, to achieve this, I can use 2, root 2 for a, and root 3 for b. That way, a squared plus b squared, that's root 2 squared is 2, root 3 squared is 3, so 2 plus 3 is indeed 5. And AB, that's root 2 times root 3, is indeed 6. So I can write what's an expression using root 2 and root 3 like this. So I have square root of 2 plus 3 minus 2 root 2 times root 3. Right. So at this point, what we are going to do is to bring back the identity, which is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab, and that's equal to a minus b squared. So now that we have it in the form a squared minus b squared minus 2ab, we can rewrite it as a minus b squared, where a is root 2 and b is root 3, since a squared is 2 and b squared is 3. Right, so now let's do that. I have the square root of the square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all squared. And now we know the square root of a, a squared number is equal to the absolute value of that number, right? So the square root of x squared is equal to the absolute value of x. So we can rewrite this as the absolute value of root 2 minus root 3, right? Since root 3 is bigger than root 2, I have a negative. So the absolute value of a negative number is a negative of that expression. So I have negative root 2 minus root 3. And the next thing is to reverse it since negative multiplying through that expression, you can reverse them and have root 2 minus root 3. So that's the final answer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye.